Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to explain how to find the multiplication table of any number. So let's see. So here, I would like to show how I can create a multiplication table using C program. So let's see. So here I'm writing a program as include stdio.h has include stands for preprocessor directive stdio.h stands for standard input output header file this header file contains two functions one is printf and another is scanf so these two functions i can use inside the program other functions are there but basically these two functions I will have to definitely use in my program. So next I'm writing void main. Void main is the one function from which the execution of program starts. So then I'm declaring two variables. One is n, another is i, then semicolon. These are two integer type variables. So next, in the printf statement, I'm writing enter, enter the number whose multiplication table, whose multiplication table you want double quotes and end bracket and semicolon scan up percentile d and percent n semicolon okay so then after i'm using for loop so for i equal to one initialization then i less than equal to 10 semicolon i plus plus okay this is initialization this is test expression or condition and this is expression update so then i am writing printf printf within double quotation i am writing percentile d asterisk percentile d equal to percentile d double quotation end comma for the first percentile d i will put the value of n comma for the second percentile d i will put the value of i comma and for the third percentile d i will put the value of n asterisk i then bracket and semicolon okay for loop close main function close my program close so now you can see here printf enter the number whose multiplication table you want so we can enter the value from 1 to 10 or from or, uh, 25 or more than that just like uh, so it will be printed just like suppose the value of n i am entering here is 2 so here i am giving a slash n character slash n which will print the output in new lines so it will be printed like this 2 asterisk 1 is equal to is equal to 2 then 2 asterisk 2 equal to 4 2 asterisk 3 equal to 6 2 asterisk 4 equal to 8 2 asterisk 5 equal to 10 dot 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 2 asterisk 10 equal to 20 so this will be printed in the output because here you can see i have mentioned n for first percentile d and this will be printed in the output screen okay n is 2 here and for i the value changes for the value of i here i can write i then 
i less than equal to 10 then um, then this statement will execute that is percentile d percentile d is equal to percentile d so this is the multiplication thing suppose i equal to 1 the first the condition will check 1 less than equal to 10 yes is it true or not yes it is true the condition satisfies if the condition satisfies then this statement will execute the statement inside the for loop will execute so inside the for loop i have mentioned percentile d asterisk percentile d equal to percentile d. it means it will print uh, in the statement like this two asterisk one equal to two here n asterisk i the value of n asterisk i will be put in this percentile d. just like here two asterisk one equal to two two asterisk two equal to four each time the value of i increases to two less than equal to ten if this condition two less than equal to ten satisfies then definitely this will be executed value of n is two but value of i is two two asterisk two equal to four so again the value of i will be incremented and it will be three so three less than equal to ten this will be correct because three is always less than ten so two asterisk three equal to six similarly so here i am erasing it similarly uh, this will be incremented to four so four less than equal to ten yes this condition is true then again two asterisk four equal to eight again the value of i will be incremented so what is the uh, sequence of this execution this is first initialization this is first one this is second two and this is third this expression is third and finally this expression is fourth so you can say the control moves to one to two first the control moves to one to two then two to three then three to four and finally four to finally four to two this in this way the control will move okay so the output will be like this so let's see it in my dev c plus this editor how it is giving the output here i have opened my dev c plus plus editor i'm going to file menu then new then source file so here i'm writing the program has include stdio.h again void main this is the main function where execution starts next i'm declaring two variables int n comma i then semicolon integer type variables n and i which will uh, reserve two bytes each then printf statement within printf i'm writing enter the number whose multiplication table you want semicolon then scanf within scanf percentile d comma ampersand n semicolon okay next i'm using for for loop i is equal to one semicolon i less than equal to 10 semicolon i plus plus so here i'm writing printf within double quotation percentile d asterisk percentile d equal to percentile d then comma n comma i comma n asterisk i okay semicolon now my program is complete let's see what is the output so first i will compile it when i will compile it it will ask me to save the program i am saving in the name of multiplication you can save it in any name 
then C source files with the dot C extension. Save. So my program is saved and the compilation result has already come. That is errors and warnings are zero. It means my program is correct. Let's see what is the output. So here you can see enter the number whose multiplication table you want. Suppose I am entering two and here you can see the output. So it, the output is uh, in one line. Let's uh, change it. So here I'm putting slash and character, which will print the outputs in new lines. Okay. Now two, you can see two into one equal to two, two into two equal to four, two into three equal to six, two into four equal to eight. Similarly, two into 10 equal to 20. Okay. So let's enter another value. Suppose here I'm entering five. Okay. Here you can see the multiplication table. Is it interesting or not? Okay. So let's uh, enter another variable or another number. Suppose 20. Okay. 20 into 1, 20. 20 into 2, 20, 40. 20 into 3, 60. Just like 20 into 10, 200. Okay. So another value. Let's take. Suppose 15. 15 into 1, 15. 15 into 2, 30. Uh, just like 15 into 10, 150. Okay. So in this way, we can calculate the multiplication table of any number. Okay. So let's calculate the multiplication table for 100. Here I'm entering 100 and you can see 100 into 100, 100 into 200, 100 into 10, 1000. Okay. In this way, we can calculate or we can find the multiplication table of any number. So if you like this video, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.